This is Cameron Chai from Amazon.com on behalf of VCAM coming to you from the Carbon Fibre Future Directions Conference in Geelong, Australia. The conference has been organised by VCAM and Deakin University and is sponsored by VCAM, Deakin University and the State Government of Victoria. Today I'm speaking to Wen Fang from Spirit Aero Systems and he's a product engineering product specialist. And I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome Wen to the program. Thank you. All right, and could you tell us a little bit quickly about uh, what Spirit Aero Systems does? Spirit Aero System is a tier, the largest tier one supplier to the OEMs like Boeing and Airbus. So we manufacture an airplane, fuselages, wings, uh, by uh, subcontracting actually to the OEM like Boeing and Airbus. So and that's what our function is. We are the supplier to those big companies. Okay, and what, what actually is your function at Spirit Aero Systems? My function, uh, my personal expertise is in the area of developing advanced materials for next generation applications in aerospace in, in other areas. And my function at Spirit currently is focusing on the external collaboration between university, industrial company, military, uh, air force, uh, navy, globally. Okay, so, so you're obviously interested in uh, what's happening out here in Australia with the, the ACFRF, the Australian Carbon Fibre Research Facility that's been put together by VCAM and Deakin University? Mm -hmm. Of course, that's why they invite me to, to participate in these uh, great conferences. So, you, so you could possibly you could see potentially there could be involvement between between Spirit uh, and I the ACF. Uh, yeah, I think a great opportunity there to to do this uh, with uh, Deacon and VCAM uh, in the area of next generation carbon fibers. And with regard to your personal interest in developing the carbon fibers, what would you like to get out of that that relationship? Well, for me personally, is that I started with my career at Air Force, U.S. Air Force Material Laboratory. My personal goal is actually to put something of this advanced material into a, a future generation aircraft. That's why I joined Spirit Aero System because that's where we manufacture aircraft. So that's my personal goal. And of course, when you have a, uh, in a broader goal would be say that for a lighter, uh, super uh, performance uh, materials that would uh, basically save a lot of energy uh, for future generation with the you know economy of the world gl expanding globally the need for uh, more efficient use of energy is great okay and you you have an interest in developing uh, more advanced carbon fibers yes I call it next generation carbon fiber basically that would be uh, using a nano uh, enhancement of the co uh, conventional carbon fiber. So that's so you're talking about using nano nano based precursor type materials. Yes, I do have a invented uh, something I call it ultra short single wall carbon nanotube that can be dispersed in the molecular level uh, in a, uh, a carbon fiber precursor such as the uh, polyacryl nitrile. And, and that could be used to, to, to manufacture higher modules and higher strength carbon fibers? Yes, with the incorporation of the nanotube. Since nanotube uh, is envisioned to be the best uh, ever performance uh, material. Uh, so if you can do that, then you can achieve uh, a much higher performance uh, carbon fiber uh, without uh, changing your uh, manufacturing processes. So, you know, potentially could be uh, achieving the high performance without uh, accumulate too much cost because you're not changing any of the manufacturing procedures. Well, so that's quite, that's, that's a unique approach to be able to use, to, to basically put in a different raw material but come out with a, a better material at the end but using exactly the same production Facilities. Exactly. That's uh, I call this thing I invented the fufu dust. <laughs> you know, a fufu dust is like a magic dust. Yes. You sprinkle a little bit onto some, something, you become magical. So this is my ideal of how to 
uh, improve uh, and achieve this next generation carbon fiber performances. Have you got any, have you got any feel for how, what, how much improvement in mechanical properties you'll get from this? this well, so far uh, in, in my talk, I have proven that you can, for example, from the Dreamliner, the most advanced uh, air structure so far, the carbon fiber they use there have a modulus of 300 gigapascal. But I already demonstrated this next generation of the carbon fiber through the uh, nano enhancement have achieved uh, 50, uh, 500 gigapascal uh, in term of modulus. So that's a 60% improvement in modulus by putting a very small amount nanotube into uh, the carbon fiber. And what about matrix materials? Will, will the matrix materials need to be improved to keep up with the fiber properties to, to create stronger that, uh, The matrix material actually is not my area of specialty, but my thinking is always if I have a high modulus fiber, therefore I'm going to make an extremely high modulus composite. And then since the composite module is so high, uh, it would be difficult for it get deformed or get strains. Without straining a composite parts, you won't break it, irregardless what uh, matrix you are using. Okay, most of the breakage of a composite part is due to straining beyond the elastic limit. Since I maximize the elastic limit, so hopefully that will be uh, uh, will be very useful for now without even considering the improvement in the matrix uh, uh, resins. What about the new precursor materials you're looking to use? Will they add much cost to the material? Af uh, uh, well, of course, the nanotube is expense, uh, very expensive at this point. But this, uh, you know, cost is always a matter of scale. If everybody started to using this nanotube then the cost will be uh, decreased dramatically, Num number one. Number two is that the percentage of the nanotube into, uh, you are putting into this carbon fiber precursor is very low, maybe 1% or lower. So the cost is incremental increases okay. only. All right then. Well, thanks for telling us about, uh, about your hope for carbon, for the future, future carbon fiber. And uh, we hope to see you out in Australia in the not too distant future working perhaps with in conjunction with the ACFRF. Well, thank you. Glad to be here. Glad to participate in this uh, important conference. And I thank you.